Hebrew of Mark Hatmaker here. Let's do a little bit of a thing on the ground. Uh, on, uh, it's uh, Black Box 19, uh, we're all 31. Uh, we're, we're, do, we're doing a big long segment on uh, what's going to be called snap and bite injuries uh, uh, from the feet and lots of stuff you're ending uh, from uh, 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 the, uh, the standing position. And we, we drag some to the ground uh, also. And uh, how many of these can you use in sport? Maybe four of them. More, uh, a few others if you drop out the end results over here. But here I'm going to play with an idea. Uh, we're not going to talk about everything we did to snap and, uh, snap and bite, bring them to the ground, get them to the front headlock or what looks like the front headlock position because there's a little bit more on it than that. I'm going to skip those details. Also, we talked about how there's always the clinch is a strike, strike is a clinch. Yeah, man, man, that's rough and tumble because a combination fighter, the clinch is, is a strike in and of itself. As soon as we hit the ground, we do cover three specific ways. There's a strike, three choices of strikes that happen as you go. They are part of the setup. I'm not even doing those here, but for those privy to it, if you take a look there at Black Box 19, you see how they make the, the, the cow move. If you give a cow, it's going to move for you. It's going to take its butt one way or the other. And then it also runs them as uh, what's called light need. Uh, I'm going to give you one idea here. It's just called uh, hip or, or knee plug. If you're kind of, let me bring it here, please. Uh, uh, so maybe this little bit of a uh, slow-mo demo is useful. So what I'm saying, I'm going to have her already hooked up down nice and tight front headlock position for, you know, so I've got that, uh, her right arm pulled across the face here. I would be riding her with uh, the, the, the breastbone, the acceptable bulge, uh, and I, I've got the, um, the, the tendon uh, bites going on with this hand. Remember those three digits, these two do nothing. Uh, these are at work. Uh, and again, all the details are on that one. This is just to let you know what's going on uh, up above, basically, what that standard position is. When we hit, I've used one of the three strikes that happen as we hit, which makes her light. By making her light, meaning we go down here, 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 go ahead and lay down for me, set this up, uh, meaning light. One of the three strikes is going to make, see, usually a good grappler when they hit, they're already hiding things up. They don't want me to, they don't want you to throw hooks in. They don't want you to start setting up the ankle picks uh, for leg rise or whatever, so they're going to hide that base up. Uh, your job, as soon as you hit, to use one of those three strikes to make them go light move off and gig away from you because you want that because if you want to break them down we don't want to use muscle to break them down we want to use easier methods to make them go to the ground that makes sense of course it does uh, so that's what those three hidden strikes are in there for and to gig and make them light means we want them to move away from the close side the side we're working towards which is her right side since so that right arms included in the right uh, in the front headlock and the uh, coffin COVID uh oh okay cover your mouth kids um, the other thing we're doing is we're making that near side, that close side, be light. And what I mean by that is we want all the weight, as she's moving her butt to the, the side I don't care about, and all the weight's going to go to this one. That's one of those three hidden strikes. If we'll do it with a nice version right here, right? What I'm saying on this, watch, she's got a closed up position of the thumb. Boom! I just gigged her. I just used a thumb to gig it a little bit. Those three strikes we're talking about, as soon as we hit, boom, it really opens up. It, it happens way more than that. The knee goes high, the ass goes, I mean, I'm sorry, the butt goes away, and you're already going to work with everything that's going on, right? That's still not what we're featuring here. What we're going to be featuring is talking about, as we turn the corner, because we do want to ride around the side, we're going to go directly into plucking, which is going to, it, it can wind up either being some detriment to their knee, to their uh, ankle, to their hip. You don't care. This is not a submission. This is just something that happens as you turn the corner. Meaning, if I'm hooking up this lazy version right here, because I'm not doing the full version, because her neck, neck would snap as I go, I've already applied one of the strikes here that got everything light, and I'm turning at this speed to here. That's the speed we're going on the turn and everything, right? Slow-mo, here's what I'm looking to do as I turn the corner. As I turn the corner, this knee that's moving to the close side is going to be the hip side knee. Left knee goes to the outside of her right knee. Right? So I turn the corner, and I'm going to bypass ankle picking, I'm going to bypass high crotching, but I am going to hook over that ankle, but legal ankle picks go up. Why? Because it's safer on the knee. Me, you, and the rest of the world don't care about safety, right? Let's turn a little bit. Stop. I, mean, I would still have the head included. I'm going to leave all that out. As soon as I turn the corner, this knee hits hard. I grab this to the inside. I'm not going up, so I don't have to get deep or anything. I can reach around here. Here, it does not matter. I want the side of her ankle to touch the side of my ankle. And, and I would do it at this, so I'll take this out so she can move. We see how I'm moving this direction. There is no elevation whatsoever on this. It is all this position right here, and it's done at this speed, like that. So what I'm saying is, you're doing this at this speed while you are hanging on to that. You can get out of here, Jim. You are hanging on to that front headlock position. 
we're not even showing how we're already cranking. We're pre-cranking the head and everything. You've pre-crunk, uh, pre-crunk, pre-cranked the head or pre-cranked it. Either one. Uh, this is the language is an evolving thing. Apparently, is my devolving in intellect. And then uh, we've got the, what are the three pre-approved strikes that are built in as you go? That gigs the animal, moves them. They go light. You turn. You pluck. And then that thing is either going to tweak up an ankle, knee, or, or hip. Or to get themselves out of jeopardy, boom, they go ahead and pop over, and that becomes a breakdown in and of itself, dropping into how many pre approved no go backseat submissions. Well, for that portion, you're going to have to pony up and pay for that part. Uh, on, uh, but other than that, though, I think it kind of gives you an idea how mean and deep in the details this old school game is. Isn't it just glorious?